Hi, I'm Wilfred Gunther, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Elgato Stream Deck. With 15 LCD keys and the ability to pre-program 210 application launches, hotkeys, and shortcuts, I'll tell you right now, this is a pretty amazing product. I've been using it now for about a week or so, and it's significantly increased my workflow efficiency. Now, with seamless integration in things like OBS, Twitter, Tippy Stream, and Elgato's Game Capture software, Guys, this is a really, really, really cool thing that they're doing, especially for $150. This is kind of acting as one of those X keys replacements, which are a lot more expensive, and they don't have cool icons that you can create on there. Uh, most people are using this for streaming, honestly, but what I'm using it for, since I work more in creative services, is I'm using it for creating shortcuts in Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, and even DaVinci Resolve. But honestly, the coolest thing that I've been able to do with it so far has changed my lights. So between sunset, this is my setup when I'm playing games. I usually like to tone it down to a nice cooler blue. When I'm watching movies, you know, I can bump it up to something that's a lot brighter, more relaxing. Or when I'm feeling a little bit more romantic, I can turn up the heat a little bit. And guys, you know I got a setting for that too, right? All right, let me show you how I did this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you're using a program that controls your hue lights on your PC that has global shortcuts enabled. That way, no matter what you're using, what program is open, you'll always be able to access it. In this case, I'm using WinHue, which is a free program, which is currently in beta. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you select the lights that you wanna change, or the group in this case. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you select the hotkey setup. You can just type in anything you want. In this case, we're gonna just type in uh, light test. Then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to scenes then select the scene that you would like that you've already set up. In this case, I'll just pick a random one here. Then you're gonna to wanna to set up your hotkey. Again, I'll just use a random one here, since this is just a test. Then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down through the settings and actually check the on button twice, because one selects it and then one turns it on. Then select add hotkey. And then just to make sure that everything got added correctly, scroll all the way down to the bottom and recheck your hotkey. Because basically what we're going to do next is then open up your Elgato Stream Deck settings. Which I'll do here in a second. Now I'm going to open up my Hue folder. Then I'm going to click in the open slot there and actually add a hotkey. You could also add a hotkey switch here if you wanted to create a dimmer of some kind or something like that. Name my light here just because I didn't add an icon. And then I'm going to enter my hotkey and that's how you set up WinHue and your hue lights with the Elgato Stream Deck.